In this video, we will implement email address verification feature. When we register online with our email address, usually we are sent an email message with a request to confirm our registration and uh, our email address. And uh, in this message, uh, we are asked to click on a link which takes us to a web page, uh, which in turn um, confirms a registration and displays a friendly um, thank you message. So with PARS, implementation of email address confirmation has been very much simplified and it takes only a few minutes uh, to implement this feature. And um, there is actually nothing we need to do in Swift code uh, to make it work. So uh, let's go ahead and implement email address verification feature for our application. And to start, I will go to uh, PARS and um, uh, if you are at the dashboard, you can click on this gear icon and then click on settings. And under settings, you want to go to our email on the left side panel. And the very first table here, email settings, if you look down a little bit, uh, it has verified verify uh, user emails. So uh, this needs to be turned on. If it's set to no, turn it to yes. And once you do this, this instructs um, Parse to start sending um, email messages to every new registerly, uh, to every new user who signs up with your application. If you have existing users, it won't send anything to them, only to a newly registered user. And the email message that Parse will send to a newly registered user is um, right here below. Uh, it has at least down number of mail templates. But the very first one is to, uh, is to confirm uh, our registration. So it has a little instruction here and it says customize the email sent to your users when they reset their password or when they verify their email address. And um, the message is defined in, uh, in this text box. So this is the subject. Please verify your email for application name. And this is the variable. You have a few uh, built-in variables like user name, email address, or application name, uh, and the link. Uh, well, the link, uh, the user must click to perform requested action if we're talking about email verification. So that will be the link to um, verify your email address. Uh, and the message um, is uh, default. You're being asked to confirm your email address and then the email address will be uh, replaced. This variable will be replaced with the email address of the user with application name. In my case, it's going to be Panda. And this a template can be um, customized. You can say uh, thank you, or you can um, say thank you, um, and then say app name team or team app name. Let's say like this team app name. Um, so any any uh, message that you want to display uh, type in here, uh, you can delete variables if you don't need them in your message. Just try not to rename them because if you do, uh, it won't work. Okay, uh, and uh, this is it for email verification template. Make sure it, it is on and once it is, a Parse will start sending messages to newly registered users. So uh, let's go ahead and actually register one user. Let's go to um, core. And then let's go to users. Um, and we have uh, one uh, user registered and my email address is used up. So I need uh, to register. I need to use a different email address. And yes, before we go, um, uh, just one more thing in settings. When you uh, change your, when you update this email template, um, settings are applied, changes are applied once you tap away. So for example, if I put one more exclamation mark here, like two exclamation marks, and when I tap away, um, 
this is the time when parse saves changes to your template so make sure you tap away to save it um, okay so now um, email settings are on we checked uh, that um, our uh, user table uh, which email address is used up because we cannot register with the same email address and I'll go to my application and try to register with a different email address I will tap on um, sign up page select um, profile uh, photo and provide my email address and then uh, password a digits and then my first name and my last name tap on uh, sign up information is being sent let's wait a little registration is successful thank you okay so very good let's go to parse and then um, user object refresh and see if we have a new record uh, yes we do Sergey Kargapolov at gmail.com emailed verified false no and the other was is uh, undefined because uh, we have turned uh, we've activated email verification feature um, after we've registered this user so the new one has a, f a value which is false and profile picture okay so everything is good email address is not yet verified now um, Bar should have sent me an email message with uh, a link to um, uh, confirm my email address so I will go to my email and I do see a new email uh, message from Pars, and it says uh, please verify your email for Panda which is my application name I click on it and here I see the template hi you're being asked to confirm email address with Panda uh, so everything is okay and um, here's the link uh, that I need to click uh, to confirm my email address so let's click it and um, I see um, a confirmation page successfully verified your email address now let's go back to parse um, it, uh, refresh our table because it's the value is still false okay now email verified is true very good um, and um, um, this is it a little bit about this email verification now um, a parse will still let you sign uh, parse will still let you log in with um, email address and password even if email address is not verified but in your application you can make some of the features um, available only to those users who have email address uh, verified and this uh, field email, whether email has been verified or not this information you can uh, read from a user object um, okay now let's go back to our email verification template this template is very simple uh, it's actually a static page uh, with um, with a plain text and CSS uh, there is no dynamic information but you can customize this template and uh, the place to customize these templates are here so you need to go to settings and then you need to go to email and scroll down um, here it's called customize user facing user facing pages so these are the templates that parse is sending out so the custom email verified page I mean these are the pages that parse displaying users once something happened for example user uh, chosen a new password uh, user changed password or uh, email address has been verified so if we are if we if you create a new template and you with a new design and with a new text and then upload it to your server and in this text field you then will provide a full path to that a template I mean full URL to that template page like HTTP www your domain name dot com slash verify email address template this name can be can be then different 
now if I change this name, um, parts will not find the template and will display four or four page, something like this. Um, but if you provide a correct URL to your email template, then it's, it's your page design and text that will display here. Okay, and once you provide a new URL for your uh, email verified page, you can tap away and parts will send uh, save information and um, everything should work well. Okay, so uh, this is it for this uh, video. Our email address has been uh, confirmed, verified, the value is true, and uh, we can continue.